Uh, hello everyone. In, in our last video, we have understand how you can use HTML tags while sending basic email. And uh, in this video, we would learn uh, how you can send some complex emails. Like I'm do have I do have few data over here. Like uh, I'm taking few dummy values. Okay, so take this one action so okay so these are the few values which I need to send let's suppose this is my summarized data or summarized information or whatever it could be I need to send it uh, on my email and this data should be in, in, in comes under my body uh, in HTML body basically so over here this was a static value so might be this would be changeable and this is already we have put in a single variable but yes we need to create a single variable and we need to put all these in a single variable so let's see how we can run this thing so for that i need to use a function processor uh, function processor as you already aware if you haven't seen my previous video which is which were based on function processor how you can create and how you can use those in a sub processor so if you haven't seen would request you to please go through those videos first so that you can easily understand this concept but as of now I'm creating a function to function processor so a function that should be like get data get data would be like this would be my data so I'm capturing this data okay in place of HTML body uh, it would be my plain body but yes it would capture this value it would convert them into a single variable and uh, that that value should be pasted into my HTML into my email body so anyhow so for that i'm saying uh, okay so over here it's a sheet one okay i'm creating one more sheet so it would be sheet two so first of all what i'm going to do but it's not exactly i mean so you have some different thoughts as well and you can go through by this one also but my main focus is just to make you understand how you can do this so anyhow so this is my data and i want this data should be captured first of all over here and from there I would pick it up and will paste it into my HTML body okay so I'm reaching over here pressing alt F11 first of all I need to understand how much my data is so just because I need to capture each and every value means I do have 10 rows and uh, 6 columns okay so first of all I need to understand what is the last row of my data and what is the last column of my data okay well, let's suppose I'm kept pasting it over there over here I can understand okay so let's suppose I'm saying and I now my data would be in a sheet 2 I'm saying sheet dot activate in case if it's a sheet one okay so this is the data which I need to capture and paste into in my email ID so over here I'm mentioning my last row of data would be cells dot special cells mm, last cells dot row this would uh, give me the last row of my data same way I'm just making it copy so in place of row I can make it column as well so in place of LR I will make it LC last column so both would be of integer type so I'm saying dim LR as integer dim LC as integer in case uh, my range gets reset so someone like delete the few columns so in buffering it would capture 10 only so for that I want every time my range would get reset so for that I can use one more thing like I'm mentioning application dot use range uh, sorry it would be on sheet 2 dot use range okay so I have already told you these kinds of concept what is used range current reason or something like that why we are going to reset this thing in my I think fourth or fifth video I have told you uh, the concept of use range if you haven't seen I would request you to please view that as well so anyhow so I do have last row and last column as of now so first of all I need to run a loop 
to capture my these values which would be from a1 to a10 i need to capture each and every values so for that i need to define an array so i'm saying again my array would be dynamic it as of now it would be 10 by 6 might be it would be 20 by 12 it could be any anything so for that for a safer side i'm using redeem statement just to make my array dynamic I'm saying it would be start from 1 to LR this is for rows and uh, okay at the second would be I'm saying it would be 1 to LC LC okay so just because we haven't mentioned option B okay already mentioned option B sorry so it's already mentioned option base so it would be start from 1 and till LR and till LC oops sorry Okay, so I'm defining this thing. So my oops, sorry, one thing left. So I have mentioned redeem, but I didn't give any name to this variable. So I'm saying uh, like uh, this would be my data. So make it uh, box. Any any name you can give it. So I have given it box. So like this is data comes under box or something like that okay so first loop to just capture each and every value for that I'm using for loop so I'm saying for C is equals to 1 to LC this is meant for columns so I'm making it next C next for loop again used so for R is equals to 1 to LR next R whatsoever okay so I'm saying sheet 2 these are my source things so sheet 2 dot in place of range I would use cells just because both the things rows and columns would be dynamic so I'm saying R comma C dot value this would be my source value and I need to put into my variable my array variable which would be box so I'm saying I'm saying box r comma c would be this thing okay so this would be my source sorry source and this would be my destination so this is meant for to capture the information or I'm saying just to capture or input you can say capture the information uh, or you can say capture the values basically not information okay so this is for input and this is for output the same for output would be so for output okay. uh, everything will be same in place of our destination would be change okay so earlier this was our source and this was destination so as of now this would be our source and we oh sorry, we need to put in uh, to destination okay I'm just doing it in a different way I'm saying I think I press some button actually okay so it would be I'm saying okay, I'm taking one more like I'm saying n n is equals to n and the value of box would be r comma c and I'm using uh, like it would be paste on my mail ID like first would be one and there would be tabs over here like two or three like in this way it needs to be pasted so I need to use VB tab over there so I'm saying and earlier it would be blank box R and C's value which will be my first value 
which would be my first value like it will be one one and I'm saying it would be VB tab then it we go to next then it we kept next row which will be eight seven seven two six six seven seven and three so after after it will come over here it will capture the second column which will be one four one seven seven three and like this way okay so if we have sorry if we have 10 rows and uh, 6 columns so it mean to say this code will run by 60 time okay it will pick each and everything but over there one more thing which is been left like after capture this thing okay I'm saying there should be a next line as well like it will be paste okay I'm just telling you the output will be the output first of all so that you can understand so first of all it will write 1 comma 8 comma 7 comma 7 comma 2 comma 6 comma 6 comma 7 comma 7 comma 3 so once it will write these codes okay so there should be a line break it needs to be come over there 1 comma 4 comma 1 or something like that okay so mean to say after capturing each and every row while capturing the first loop there should be a line break so I'm saying then nth value would become n at vb new line or you can use vb crlf okay so again this will become for output whatever it comes under n okay so thereafter in n we would be having value like this way uh, okay I'm just making a variable like 1 and there will be tab would be there for 1 oh sorry 1 thereafter 8 7 7 2 6 6 comma 7 7 3 and thereafter and L like 1 4 1 7 these kinds of value would be comes under n so n will hold the, the each and every value like this way so whatsoever comes under n i'm saying it will return that value to my this function which would be get data i'm saying get data would become n okay so now get data contains each and every elements and in place of html body i'm using dot body would take the information from get data function okay so i have called this function in this particular sub procedure okay so let's understand uh, let's try to run this code let's see if it's been working or not okay so let's run this code once one more time so i'm pressing f5 oh look with the variable let me check it i think i did a mistake over here mm, that's perfect. oops sorry i think so it has to be in teaser over here i n t e c e r and let's make it in teaser as well in teaser okay let's try to make it four more time okay i'm pressing f5 once again so perfectly fine so it's, it's been working so this is the data okay and uh, one thing left i think if you see body bit get data display subject was thing and uh, thereafter i'm showing uh, there would be like my names has to be there so again you can use html tag or whatever you want to use but the good thing is that data is coming over here okay so the only thing that's we we capture over here that is get data i have we have created this function and just called up this function over here in into the sub procedure so this was a bit complex but yes uh, very important in terms of while you sending your emails 
or I'll, you send your data which is again dynamic which is coming from a different different sources and you can create uh, function this way and you can use it in as a processor i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned the concept thank you so much for watching have a nice day